Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to review finding the focus, vertex, excuse me, the focus, directrix, and the focal diameter from a parabola based on the equation that's given to us. In this case, I have x squared equals 9y. Now, using our parabola formula, the general one, if you recall, is x squared equals 4py. Now this is for a parabola that either opens up or opens down along the vertical axis. So we, to find our directrix and our focus we need to find the p-value for the equation. And the simplest method is to take the general equation and match it up to our new one. So I'm going to right below it, I'm going to say x squared equals 4py. As I said, I'm going to match it up. So my x squareds match up, and my y's match up, which means my 9 and 4p are also going to match up. In other words, I can make an equation based on that. This implies that 4p is equivalent to 9. And by solving the equation, we find our p-value is 9 over 4. So now that we have our p-value, we can determine our focus which is going to be 0, 9 fourths. And from that, since with this setup, we can assume that the vertex is at the origin. We can then assume the directrix is the equation y equals negative 9 fourths. So with this example, it's a matter of lining up the general equation with its counterparts, giving us the focus and the directrix. Let's look at another example. This time I have 8, negative 8 y squared is equal to x. Now since this is an, a y squared equation, We're going to use our y squared formula, which is y squared is equal to 4px. Now the difference here is my original equation has a negative 8 coefficient with the y squared. So to make a nice matchup, we're going to move that to the other side by dividing by negative 8. Now I'll have y squared is equal to negative one-eighth x. And that allows me to write my general equation underneath. And again, I can match up my terms. My y squareds match up, my x's match up, which means I can make a relationship from the 4p and the negative 1 8th. Then to solve for p, I'll divide by 4. Which gives me p is equal to negative 1 over 32. Since that's my p-value, and because it's a y-squared equation, we know that it's going to open to the right or to the left, and again, because it's negative, it's going to open to the left. This tells us that our focus is going to be the point negative 1 over 32, 0, and our directrix is x equals the opposite of p, which in this case is going to be positive 1 over 
32. Now lastly, since I need to know the focal diameter, the focal diameter is always 4p, and since it's a distance, we take the absolute value. Since my p is negative 1 over 32 in this case, 4 times that gives me a focal diameter. of 1 8 and again it's positive because it's a distance so again I took 4 times my p-value took the absolute value which will give me after I simplify 1 8 going back to my first one again my p-value is 9 fourths to find my focal diameter I take 4 times the p-value, which I can reduce to 4. Or, excuse me, let's try that again. I'll make it 9. 